guys and welcome to Supermet. It's been a long time, I haven't been on air, been very busy and uh, today I'm at PET, which is Personal Electric Transport in East London. Now, I've got something that's a little bit different. Um, this is a cross between, I think, a bike and a scooter, a uh, motorcycle, and a zero scooter. It's called the Fido and let's have a quick look at it. So, this is the Fido. Um, it's got my camera on top, that isn't normally there. It's quite a cool little machine. Now this is using components off a Zero scooter. So this is off the Limited scooter. So you can see it's got this rather nice display on it. Um, shows your speed, shows which assist level you're in, your battery, um, and uh, just counts everything down. It gives you your trip. So this one has done 76, uh, 76 miles, um, or 76 kilometers rather. Um, funky light on the back of it, hydraulic brakes, um, but this is really for private land only. This is classed as a motorcycle because you've got your back motor over here, you've got your disc brakes front and rear, but you have no pedals. So this is basically a classed as a motorbike. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, these have been done by Falcon in Singapore and they've actually utilized the mechanics, if you like, and the display and some of the um, other controlling items straight out of the Zero Limited uh, 10X scooter, um, which is the one that I have. And um, so the Limited version is the nicer one, gets the twin battery pack, and then obviously you get this rather funky color display, but it's, it's a pretty cool machine. Now, I've been told this will do nearly 60 kilometers per hour, um, and it gets there pretty rapidly. Central gravity, when you're sitting on it, you're sort of sitting here, but you do need to shift forward, otherwise this thing will flip you clean off the back. Um, now, I am clean out of hospital um, literally 10 days ago, so I need to be quite careful on this, but it's quite a funky machine. So we're gonna give it a little ride round on private ground, and we're gonna see how it goes. But um, looks pretty mad machine, I have to say. And I like this sort of carbon look that they've got on here, this sort of side panel. And these foot pegs, you can see here, it's completely flat on the bottom um, from where somebody did some overzealous um, curb work and <laughs> it's a pretty funky machine. Now this is a 5.5 kilowatt motor, which is a hell of a big motor for something that is so small. And they're only rear wheel drive, so I imagine it's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a Larry monster. And you can see these, these are straight off a scooter, um, these sort of tire huggers, and um, quite, quite cool to see that on this. But it's, it's quite a nice design, just a tubular chassis from, I believe, Fido. And then they just put this rather funky seat on it, and, um, and away you go with these sort of chunky wheels. So let's get it out. Let's see how, um, let's see how it is. It's going to be a short ride, but really just to get back into things and get back on the air again. So hope you enjoy. Let's see how fast it goes in uh, level one. Just to test it out. Okay, so around 20. Blimey, it felt like 50. <laughs> it's a fast little machine. Okay, so level three. Hasn't got regen switched on in any way at the moment. Let's try it down here. Whoa. No suspension. You feel those bumps. It's pretty comfy though. I mean, considering it's got no suspension, what they've done is they've put a massive seat on. So the seat is really, really comfortable. Okay. Very easy to ride. No issues with this at all. It's just a bit, it's a bit bumpy. And that display is awesome. Really nice display. Let's go up here, let's turn it up to level five and let's give it another, give it another whirl. Okay, so let's go up to level five. So four, five, let's give it a go now. Yeah, it feels, feels like it would go a lot quicker, I just don't know how much faster it will go. 
they're telling me 57 kilometers per hour. I mean, that's, that's bloody fast. Don't know what speed that was, didn't they? Look, 20, 21 maybe, I don't know. We'll see, we'll need to look it back on the footage. Let's have a quick look around it. Okay, so we'll stop here. Let's have a quick look. You can see the display is running here. I hope you can, I hope you can see this if I cover it up a little bit. So we're on Assist 5 at the moment. It's done 77 trip miles. Um, battery, it's got a 60, I don't know what size battery it is. It's got 64.9 volts, so I need to ask them. So this will be a limited battery pack on here. Um, nice speedo, you can see it, and it's bright day today, as you can see. The throt thrum throttle is just over here. You've got obviously two hydraulic brakes here and here. They're very easy to operate, just, just pull those down. And then you've got a tail light at the back with your brake lights. Um, you've got a nice headlight, which I imagine switches on like so. So you can see the headlight working down here. So it's nice, nice proper headlight. 13 inch tires, um, which is really good, really nice. Let's turn that headlight off. Then you've got um, your hydraulic brakes just down here. So you've got a um, uh, nut caliper here, nut caliper at the front, and two um, pretty standardized scooter discs. Um, frame's quite nice, made by Fido. Um, and then all the limited items on it from the limited scooter from Zero. So it's really surprising when you get onto it, you see Zero written on the screen. But this seat is really, really comfy. Um, it's um, sort of this carbon fiber look material on it and ribbed. Very comfy because you've got no suspension. So you literally are just kind of with the elements cruising at sort of 20, 30 miles an hour and you do really feel it. And then they put on some sort of carbon fiber I think they actually are carbon fiber. Um, bumper on the front, and then on the back, you've got one of the huggers from Zero off the of 10X, which is off the Limited again. So they've utilized a lot of the components and put it onto this. Um, I'm gonna call it a bicycle, but it's not, because you've got no pedals. Um, but you can see it's been some pretty zealous cornering. Um, I like this, these are flat, so somebody has really been going into those corners, treating it like a sports bike. But it's, uh, it's a cool piece of kit, I like it. Battery's just in here, so that's your Zero 10X limited battery in there. So it's gonna be whopping out some serious power. Um, you can also take the handlebars down, so there is a, um, a pull here for the handlebars. And yeah, she's nice. So let's find out how much this costs, because I don't know the price yet. And let's go and ask the guys, and then, find out a bit more about it. This is one for using on private land. It's not one for using on the road, just purely for the fact that you will get pulled over on it. And this has no pedals. So you've got pedal assist, which is where you pedal, and then obviously it operates and assists you. This is not, this is more thumb throttle here and away you go. Um, so this would be more problematic on the road. Okay, so the Fido, I call it Fido, it's Fido, it's that particular chip is 2,800 pounds. Obviously it's got all the limited 10X equipment on it. Um, it's got a range of about 40 miles, um, maybe a bit more, depends how you ride it. But obviously it's a private use land kind of machine. It's not the sort of thing that you should be using, say in central London, for instance, even though it would do it really, really easily. But yes, about 60 kilometers per hour, which is, it's like a motorbike. I mean, it's um, faster than a scooter, pretty serious piece of kit. Easy to charge up, just plug it in away you go. And um, I mean, it'd be quite cool to have the, uh, the TEDx Limited and that. And then you can just swap the charger over and take one out and use the other one. The 13 inch wheels, hydraulic brakes, comes with everything. It's a cool piece of kit. So um, get down to PET, have a look at it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, give me that thumbs up. And um, there's gonna be more content coming shortly from a company overseas called Boggist. And we have a um, small commuter scooter, which is um, 250 watts, which is um, under 300 pounds. Absolutely amazing for the money. Then we have their bigger version called the Pro, which I think has a 500 watt motor. And um, that's not even unboxed yet, so we're going to unbox that and we'll be getting that out shortly. We've got an electric bike coming from Japan, which is made all out of carbon fiber. That's going to be done shortly as well. Um, and then we've got a load of other tests coming, so the channel is back. I'm going to be producing weekly content, uh, maybe even two or three times a week. So please tune in, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Put your helmets on, ride safe, watch out for this pandemic. It's getting worse again. Take care, guys. See you later.